All right, so we're going to test a, um, a fuse today. I've got this fuse with me. It looks old and beat up, but it's still good. I already tested it, but I'll show you how to, how to test it even without a voltmeter. We're going to test it with a voltmeter first. And I was going to make this video earlier with just with a voltmeter. Then I realized that, of course, not everybody's going to have a voltmeter at their house. But if you do have a voltmeter, of course, I'm going to go over another couple of ways of doing it, even without a voltmeter. If you do have a voltmeter, you're going to set your voltmeter on continuity, which is right there, which you can see the little, like, kind of little speaker looking thing. And you're going to hear it. Once it makes contact, it's going to beep. Okay. So this is a good fuse. I already know that. So what happens is it's still intact in the inside. So it'll still make contact as long as it's making contact. It's still a good fuse. Of course, it's beeping because it's, in, it's good. So this is how you test it with a voltmeter. But like I said before, I realize not everybody's going to have a voltmeter at their house to test a, a fuse. You're going to find fuses on an air conditioner. Sometimes if your air conditioner doesn't turn on at all, it most likely is going to be just a fuse. Um, if a water heater is, uh, stops uh, warming up, sometimes it's a fuse. You go to the disconnect box and you're going to find a fuse. And there's other things that use these kind of fuses. So if you ever need to test a fuse, uh, I'll give you a few options. Now, this is another option here. This is a 9-volt battery. And this is one of these car testers that, that you test uh, electricity in cars. Uh, I, I realize not everybody's going to have one of these also. So, But what you do here is, of course... Of course, this is a 9-volt battery, so it'll, it'll, it'll activate this light. See the light go on? So this is another way of testing it. You can just, just put one, one, in, one in on the uh, battery. Of course, this one's already clamped to the other side. And that'll make your, your light go on. So we know there's continuity in this. If there's no continuity, then that means you're... you're, you're um, of course, you got to check it with a battery first just to make sure that it's, it's, it's powering it. If it doesn't have any continuity, then your, your fuse is, is no good. Then you can buy another one. If When you do, just make sure it's the same amperage. Some of them are 30 amp, 35, 40, 45. They're different. Make sure it's the same one. Just read it. If you can't read it on this one, there's always two. Read the one next to it. So this is another way. But, but I do realize not everybody's going to have one of these. So I went one step further. And I got this, the, the plate uh, of my thermostat. It's got a light on it. When you, when you push a button, let me, turn, let me turn this light off here so you can see that light. There's a light that turns on. You can see it. Okay. So you can, this, this test you could do with a flashlight. You can use a, a smoke alarm, anything that's battery operated and that, uh, has continuity to it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take out one of the batteries. I'll take this one out. Take one of the batteries. Put a little bit piece of tape just to isolate the contact. Of course, I'm going to put the uh, uh, tape it. Tape a piece of wire to the to the end of it. Oh, wrong one. I'm supposed to do the battery, not the not the uh, fuse. So we're going to put a little piece of tape on the battery and the contact. Now I'll put my battery right back how it belongs. And of course it's not going to turn on because that tape is isolating the contact. So when I push the button, it's not going to turn on. Now what we're going to do is on the other side where this battery should make contact, we'll stick a little piece of wire there. Unfortunately, I got to push a button here. So once once these two are making contact, sorry, this video is not very clear, but it's a general idea. Once it's making contact, you can see that light turns on, right? That's because it's 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 making the contact. As soon as I disconnect it, it, it it's off. So all you all you do is just just use your fuse as a bridge, like I'm doing here, and that's it. So this is one way of testing a fuse. If it's making contact, if there's electricity running through it, 
then that means your fuse is good. And this, this can help anybody. And if it helped you, I would really appreciate a like. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video.